We haven't yet found the derivative of exponential functions, and exponential functions do show up all the time in applications, so we'd better uh, figure out what the derivative of an exponential function actually is. Uh, for our exponential function, let's take um, just a to the x, and a is a constant here. Right? For exponential functions, we require that our bases be constant. Also, uh, it should be positive, so a is greater than 0. So what is the derivative of this? Well, you know, we don't have a derivative rule yet, so we're going to have to appeal to the limit definition of the derivative. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now we can use the formula for the function that we're dealing with. So limit as h goes to 0 of a to the x plus h minus a of x over h. And then at this point, we have to come up with some algebra to do to help us find this limit or deal with the h in the denominator, right? As usual, if we just plugged in h equals 0, we get 0 over 0, so that's not so helpful. So we have to come up with some algebra to do. And I mean, looking at this expression, really the only option I see, the only sort of complicated bit that I have any ideas for is this sum in the exponent. We know that we can use exponent laws to break up a sum that's in the exponent. So if we do that, we get the limit as h goes to 0 of a to the x times a to the h. Sorry, that's an h, not a b. a to the x times a to the h minus a to the x over h. But now looking at the numerator, we can factor out the uh, a to the x. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of a to the x times a to the h minus 1 over h. But this a to the x, remember this limit, for this limit, h is the variable. So uh, as far as this limit is concerned, a to the x is acting like a constant multiple. And so we can move that outside of the limit. So we get a to the x times the limit as h goes to 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h. OK. Um, well, notice that this limit here, this doesn't depend on x. So this is just some constant that depends on a. It depends on what base you started with, right? But whatever it is, it's just some number. So what we found is that the derivative of a to the x is a to the x, but times a constant. And we don't know what this constant is. That's one thing that we'll have to figure out. Um, but right, in principle, a to the x, it's just a to the x again, but times a number that we don't actually know. So this is kind of a partial result, right? because we sort of know sort of what the derivative is, but there's this unknown piece here. Well, if we look at the graph of an exponential, right? It, this, this limit as h goes to 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h, this is actually, <laughs> although we don't know what this is, this is the derivative of f at 0, right? Just by definition. So if you imagine plugging in x equals 0 into this expression, you get exactly this limit. So whatever this number is, it's actually the slope of the tangent line to a to the x at x equals 0. So let's look at some examples. So here's the graph of uh, 2 to the x. And I have this set up so I can change the base just by change, changing the slider. And um, if we look, keep your eye on the slope of the tangent line, at uh, x equals 1. So by changing the base, we can make the slope of the tangent line at x equals uh, 0. Uh, we can make it small, or even negative, if, if our a value is between 0 and 1. We can make it big by making the base very big. But uh, clearly, the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0 is changing continuously as I change a. And that means, by the intermediate value theorem for continuous functions, uh, 
there's some value, some choice for A, that makes the slope of that tangent line exactly 1. It looks like maybe it's about here somewhere. Right? It's hard to tell exactly where, given the accuracy that we can get just based on the resolution of this graph. But it looks like if our value for A is uh, about here, about 2.7, the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 is going to be, or sorry, x equals 0, is exactly 1. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, say that, or we're going to choose a special value for A. Okay, and our special value for A is the value for A so that uh, this limit, the limit as h goes to 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h is 1. So there's only one value for the base that makes this limit exactly 1. Remember, we can make the this limit is the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0. And we can make that slope anything. So our special value makes that slope 1. And again, it looks like it's about 2.7, somewhere in there. And it's, it's kind of a mouthful to say a is the value so that this limit is equal to 1. So we're going to name this special base. And the name that we give for this, the name that we give to this special value for a is, we're going to call it e. Now, you might have encountered e defined differently, but in fact, this, this is the same e value that you've seen before. It's about 2.71 something. Okay. So e is just the special positive real number that makes this limit, the limit as h goes to 0 of e to the h minus 1 over h, makes this limit exactly 1. As a result, remember we knew that the derivative with respect to x of a to the x was, we figured out that it was a to the x times the limit as h goes to 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h. Well, if we now apply this rule to our special base e, what we get is just e to the x, because this thing that we figured out before applied to the special case where the base is e gives us the derivative of e to the x is e to the x times the limit as h goes to 0 of e to the h minus 1 over h. But e is the number that makes this limit 1. And so this is just e to the x times 1. So it turns out that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. This is one of the main reasons that e as a base for exponential is important. It's because the derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x. For other bases, this isn't true. Right? This only happened because e is the number that makes this limit exactly 1. For other choices of base, this limit won't be 1. And so you'll end up with some multiple here.